right, everyone, so let's get into um, our waders and how we use them while we're fishing. Um, first of all, we'll talk about how we put them on uh, when we're out in the field. Now, you can use this when you're getting out of your car, whether you're backpack in, um, really anywhere. But the best way to put waders on, I hate when I see people who don't put them on this way because it can cause a lot of tears or rips in your waders, is just simply putting down an old towel or something. Or if I'm backpacking, I'll use an old t-shirt. Um, but what I like to do is I'll just throw it on the ground real quick. There's all these rocks, all this debris, I'll try not to step on it. I don't want to get any rocks in there. And I'll grab my waders. rocks or any type of debris inside of my boots, um, underneath, underneath the neoprene uh, soles, so there'll be no rips. Now this could be kind of hard, it's kind of tricky, but once you do it, then you just slip on your boots and now you're guaranteed to not get any debris or anything like that inside your boots. Uh, you also might wonder why I'm wearing sweatpants. I actually prefer these, it's kind of cold here where I'm at and where I fish. Um, so when you wear your waders, it's actually the second way to wear them when you're fishing, is do not wear anything with zippers or anything that's abrasive. Um, because what that does is it'll end up ripping holes in the waders. Over time, the friction will build up. Even something like your phone or your wallet, having that in your pocket will actually cause more friction. and It'll make it weaker wherever you are. So in the summertime, I like to wear my basketball shorts or any type of shorts without zippers or ties on them. And in the wintertime, just a good pair of sweatpants and what this allows is again no friction against my waders um, when I'm doing so. Uh, so once you get your waders on, you pull them up over shirt. I'm using the Sims uh, G3 guide waders. These are some of my favorite waders. I like Sims waders. These are Cortex, so pretty bomb proof. Um, then of course you got your straps. You got to put on your straps for your waders. I like to pull one over. And then this fails sometimes, but I just throw it over. Sometimes it conks you in your head. And you just throw that on. And then you're ready to go. Uh, another important thing, most of your waders should come with them, is gonna be your wading belt. I think I have mine in here. So this wading belt's very important. I recommend you wear this every time you go fishing. As you can see here, it just goes through my loops. And then once you tie it around here, you'll just be able to clip this on. Now this is very important because if you ever fall in the river or fall in the stream, this allows the water to kind of stay out. It doesn't allow the water to seep down into your legs as fast, so you won't sink um, as fast either. So this is a really nice, um, I guess you can call it accessory to have. You're definitely gonna wanna wear this. Um, anytime possible, whenever you can. Sorry, my neighbors are driving by. Um, so wear this whenever you can. Again, avoids any leaks um, to go in your water if you do fall in. Also, if any rain or anything gets in there as well. Um, so another way and the best way to use your waders while you're fishing is to uh, clear out any rocks uh, while you're while you're uh, fishing. If you get any in there. Now, most waders come with these nice gravel guards here. So with these gravel guards, these go over your boots and they allow any little rocks, uh, they don't allow any of them to get into your boots. Because what happens again, any rocks, anything will get under here on your foot pad and it'll slowly start to wear holes and cause friction on here and that is not good for your uh, waders. Um, so if you don't have these, if your waders don't come with those, make sure as you get rocks in your shoes throughout the day, just continuously take those out whenever you can. Um, I know it's kind of annoying you have to untie your boot, but it will save your waders in the long run. Um, along with that is avoid any sharp branches or anything that you may be running into or um, walking into while you're on the river. Uh, just be very careful of any of those type of things because while you're doing that, you're easily gonna rip a hole in uh, your waders because of those branches. I've done it before. I've seen plenty of people do it before. Um, now, uh, another way how to wear your waders while you're fishing, another tip is when you're taking them off. I see a lot of guys, a lot of people, including me, it was me, uh, but when you take them off, of course you unbuckle everything. And what they do is they'll start to they'll pull them right around here and then they'll start trying to pull this heel off or pull this off, pull it off from here. And it's almost impossible to get them off. It takes a while. It's almost like it's suction cuffed off um, onto your leg. So the best way to do this is pull them down. 
somewhere below your knees here because what this allows it to do is it gets rid of some of that suction cup effect on the bottom of your waders and then either sit down or if you're standing and grab the bottom heel here. Grab where this heel is and it'll slide right off for you. Same thing with the other one. Grab on the heel and then it pulls right off. So a nice easy way to take off your waders once you're done fishing so you don't have to stumble all over the place, fall over yourself and um, perhaps even damage your waders doing so as well. So now that they're off, they need to dry, of course. Do not put them in any waiter bag or store them away somewhere that's airtight because since they are wet, what comes along with being wet is mold, mildew, so we don't want any of that. So we want to hang them to dry somewhere. Uh, for example, if we're hanging out the back of our truck here, again, we don't want anything to get inside these waders either on the outside or the inside. If we let anything get in the inside and we put them on, those miles that we walk uh, will also put friction on those that could cause holes. So whenever I store my waders, if I'm storing them even here on the back of my truck, back of my car, I'll store them upside down. That way nothing can fall inside of here. Not a branch or, or a rock that I accidentally kick up. So next time I put these on, I know uh, that I'll have no problems or any rocks going in, inside of them. Um, what's really important too is the right sizing of your waders. Make sure you get the right size because if you like to hike a lot of miles in the backcountry, you're going to be putting a lot of friction on these. If they're too loose or too tight, you'll start seeing some wear points in your waders as well and you don't want those. Um, so you want, want to look out for that as well. So make sure you get the right sizing so there's no friction there. Um, but that's how you use your waders while you're fishing.